Hi guys and welcome again to a new video here of DIY Ideas. I'm going to show you a really simple scarf today. Um, it's super quick to make. Um, this is a regular unicolor uh, wool here, but we actually take another thread with it. Um, we do single crochets and chain stitches here, so really, really simple. Um, so you can see the colors a little better. Um, and yeah, so that the the pattern really doesn't distract from the cool colors. Um, how exactly I made this, I'm gonna show you now. Have fun. Okay guys, so this is La Luna yarn. Um, I bought this at TD, it's 100 grams and 80 meters. It was 355. And um, here you can kind of see what it might look like um, when it's done. Um, so, you know, it's kind of on the cart cardboard here, so it's uh, not quite as bright. It's meant for size 10 crocheting hooks, and let's see what the composition is. Yes, 100% um, polyacrylic. I'm gonna take out the middle here from the ball of yarn. Um, it's really cool, it kind of looks like it's underwater. These colors here with a dark blue and some petrol colors, some turquoise. Um, then obviously we have some purples here. It's a really, really cool, really pretty color fade. Um, but it seems like I might have to crochet this from the outside because I can't seem to find the inside. But let's see. Uh -huh. I think here we have the inside. <laughs> and here I have my size 10 crocheting hook. Um, also perfectly color matching. And then let's see. Okay, here's the beginning. Perfect. Let's um, do this from the inside. <laughs> That's what I wanted initially anyway. So you can see here what the color fade looks like. It's really, really slow, um, nicely, nicely dyed. Um, I'm gonna do a really simple pattern here just so the colors um, are nicely visible and nothing distracts from the colors. Um, I'm gonna start here with um, an even number of chain stitches. I'm gonna choose 12 here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so here we have 12 chain stitches. That's what it looks like. Then we skip the first three here. And into the fourth one, we go in and do a single crochet. And here we have this uh, where we skipped the three um, chain stitches. And here we do another chain stitch. And then we skip one. And into the next one, we add a single crochet. Then chain stitch, we skip one. And another single crochet, then chain stitch. Then here, skip one and into the next one, a single crochet and then a chain stitch. Okay, here's the chain stitch. And then here we have two left over. Um, perfect, <laughs> so we didn't miscount. And into the last one, we do a single crochet again. Okay, so what did we do here? We chose a even number of chain stitches, in this case, 12. Then we skipped the first three, and then we always did a single crochet, then a chain stitch, then we skip one, and then we do the same thing again. So single crochet, chain stitch, we skip a chain stitch, and then single crochet and chain stitch. And so we always have these little holes here, um, and that's what the pattern looks like. And here at the very end, we end it with a single crochet, then we add two chain stitches, turn it all around, and then always here um, around the um, chain stitches of the row before. That's where we go in and poke in with our needle. So always here where my fingers are. That's where we're gonna go in. Okay, and here at the very end for around the chain stitches. Okay, so really simple. We go in here, chain stitch, I mean, sorry, single crochet, then a chain stitch. And then we go into the next one, single crochet, chain stitch, single crochet, chain stitch. Single crochet, oh, single crochet, chain stitch, and here at the very last one, also single crochet, and then we're done. 
Okay, so that's row number two. You can see how quickly and easily, um, yeah, this works. As you can see here, we have the, these are the holes, the, the, the places we're gonna poke into. We start again with two chain stitches, turn it around, and then again, single crochet, chain stitch, single crochet, chain stitch, single crochet, chain stitch, single crochet, chain stitch and here we are at the end again around the chain stitches of the row before we're going to do another single crochet as you can see this is really really quick and we already have you know some height here i'm going to do one more row here we start with two chain stitches we turn it around and then again we start with a single crochet chain stitch single crochet then chain stitch, single crochet, chain stitch, single crochet, chain stitch, and here at the very end another single crochet. And then um, this row is done as well. And we start with the next one for two, with two cha chain stitches. And so here's my update for you guys because um, I have crocheted quite a lot more. You can see the structure here um, and you see it's pretty like loose. Um, and that's why it's so quick also to get this length. I have to unfortunately take out these last few stitches here just because the thread wasn't long enough for another whole row. Um, so, you know, <laughs> took these out again and that's fine. And here you can see again how pretty the colors are with the nice purples and greens and mints um, and obviously the nice dark blue. The scarf is a little longer than a meter um, so maybe more like a kid's scarf, you know, if you had another ball of yarn, you can make this bigger, wider and longer. Um, I really hope that you like this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you would like to watch more, please visit my channel and subscribe for free and you'll always be the first one to be informed about a new video. See you soon.